Are you a hotshot pilot? Have you learned every trick that there is in the book? There's not a single thing that you need to learn? Well, I'm PDEVX. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we can combine these tricks into some epic combos. So before we get started, I think it's a good idea to distinguish between combos and lines because they share some similarities, but they're totally different. So a line is something that's a little bit different than a combo. So a line is you do a trick, you float in the next thing, you do another trick, and you do enough of those without crashing and you've got a line. A combo is where you're taking multiple tricks and combining them together in quick succession. So there's a few different ways that you could do that. There's sequential combos. That's where you're gonna do a trick and then immediately after that trick, you do another trick. There's combos in the middle of tricks, so maybe you're doing a power loop. In the middle of the power loop, you do a quick flip, and then you finish your power loop. And then there's also combos where you're piecing them together, you're taking like half of a yaw spin, and then you're hucking it back. It's not necessarily a full trick that you're combining with another trick, it's maybe just like a part of a trick. But that's how I kind of think about combos um, before I'm coming up with something new. So the main thing I think about when it comes to trick combos is entry points and exit points. So what I mean by that is how do you enter the trick and then throughout the trick, what is the position of the quad? And based on that, what tricks can I do? Uh, so for example, uh, we talked about combinations of tricks within other tricks. So if we were to do a power loop and we get to the top here, we're inverted. We can do a, 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 an inverted trick at this point. So maybe that's an inverted yaw spin. Maybe that's just a flip. But what we want is to come back to the position we were in for the power loop so that we can finish it off. So I'll be demonstrating with a power loop, but this could be any trick in your repertoire. We're just using a power loop because it's fairly simple and easy to demonstrate. So we've got this big wall over here. I'm gonna demonstrate what I'm talking about. Put on my flying face. <laughs> All right, so we got this wall here, do some power loops. I think the most obvious point in the power loop to do another trick is when you're inverted. So we'll go ahead, throw in a little roll. The trick is we wanna, we wanna stop the trick in the middle and continue the loop. Just like that. Now let's try another trick. I'm gonna step it up a little, try an inverted yaw spin. There we go. And like I said, we just want to make sure that when we're done with the trick that we're doing while we're inverted, at the point we stopped at in the power loop. There you go. Next. <laughs> okay, so next I'm going to show how to do a combo where you do a trick, a full trick, into another full trick. So for example, here we've got this beautiful trippy tree. So what I'm going to do is before I get into the trippy, I'm going to do a backflip. So what that's gonna look like, when you do the trippy, right, the entry point is kind of vertical. So what I'm gonna wanna do is shoot up, do my flip facing vertical so that I can then get into my trippy. But we're doing a full flip before we do a full trippy. So that's what I'm talking about, doing full trick and combining that with another full trick. Again, this could be any trick in your repertoire. It doesn't have to be these tricks. This is just an example. All right. So let's just get right into it. So we got our trippy tree right here. And again, like I said, the entry point for a trippy is kind of looking upward, right? So right here. So when we do our flip, we want to end up facing upward like that. So we'll come back around, do that little flip. There we go. And then we're in the trippy. And you could do a trick into the trippy. You could do a trick out of the trippy. Doesn't really matter. Again, what really matters with these types of combos is we're doing a full trick into another full trick. Let's try to yaw spin up this tree. That's, a, that's one that people don't usually do. Go up, we'll do a yaw spin, and then we're into a trippy. See, it's just like that. Woo. Just like that. <laughs> Do one more. Let's try. There we go. Let's think of another example. I really like this wall down here. 
and I like doing vanny rolls. And what's great about a vanny roll is that when you're done with the vanny roll, the exit point is actually backwards, which sets us up perfectly for a matty flip. So I'm gonna come under this wall and do a vanny roll, and then we can go pop over. That's a little sloppy, we'll do it again. But you get the idea. We're combining the vanny roll. We're doing a full vanny roll into a full matty flip. And that's it. All right, so we talked about tricks in the middle of other tricks. We talked about tricks leading into tricks. Now, what we need to talk about is partial tricks combining into one trick. All right, so the last type of combo that we're gonna talk about is probably the most difficult to wrap your hand around because we're gonna take partial tricks and mix them with other partial tricks. So what I mean by that is you might mix a half of a yaw with like a half of a flip back into some matty swing or whatever, but you're only taking parts of the tricks and combining them. In fact, some of the tricks that you already do today are actually this type of combo. So for instance, a Rubik's Cube, what you're doing is a half of a flip, you're doing a full roll, and then you're doing another half of a flip, right? So the half flip, that's not a full trick, that's like part of the trick, right? I mean, a complete trick would be something that you can actually pull out of, you know? So most of the time that means coming from flat to the ground to flat to the ground. You can't do a half flip and then just, you just rent a prop. Not the it. new proxy prop. <laughs> so example that we're gonna do here is a pretty popular trick these days and it ties back to the first trick we did which was that power loop with an inverted yaw spin. Yeah, so what that one looks like is you start your power loop. Instead of doing the full yaw, you only do half of the yaw and then that puts you in place to come under like a matty, right? So you're combining three different parts of a trick into one cohesive trick. And we're gonna do that right here. So again, what you're looking for when you do any of these type of combos is the entry point and then the position of the quad throughout. And that's going to inform you on what tricks you can then combine that with. So with this example, we're doing part of a power loop. In the middle of it, we're inverted. That means you can do an inverted yaw or some other inverted trick. We do half of our inverted yaw and now we're in halfway through a matty. So if we know that a matty is huck forward, this is like the top point of a matty. And so we know that at any point within this matty, we can combine that with another trick. So for us, we're here in this position and we're gonna just swing that matty right under the wall. Right now. Wow. Okay, last combo. This is the one everybody's doing. Made popular by Pablo. Shout out to the homie. Cool, so the last type of combo we're doing is combining parts of tricks. For this one, we're gonna do half of a power loop, then we're gonna do half of an inverted yaw spin into half of a matty flip. Uh, how 50 and 50 and 50 add up to 100? I don't know, but that's what we're doing. It's like man bear pig. Just like man bear pig. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna come under, we're gonna get our, whoo, whoo, and then, under, yeah, and that's it. First try. Again, we're just combining half tricks into one trick, even though it's three tricks. You guys do the math. I don't know how it works, but here we go. Oh, that one wasn't good. Let's do one more. For Jeff, this one's hey, for clean Jeff. It clean it up, all right? I don't want it Vortex perfect. style. Make it perfect. Make it perfect. Sounded good. Oh yeah. And here's the thing about all these combos. The combos never need to end. So, you know, I did those tricks, but I could just link that into another combo, into another combo. We could do trippies, into trippies, into matties, into flips. It doesn't matter. You can do all the combinations you want. We want to know what your combos are like. Show us what you've got. Show us something new. Show us something that's never been seen. So to recap, we talked about entry points. You wanna know the entry point and the position of the quad. That's gonna help identify which tricks you can combine with other tricks. We talked about tricks in the middle of tricks. We talked about tricks leading into another trick. And we talked about partial tricks combined into one trick. 
So we wanna see what kind of combination you guys can come up with. There's tons of combinations that still haven't been discovered, plenty to link together. What tricks do you know? What kind of combinations are you doing? Put them down in the comments, link us to some of your videos. While you're at it, why don't you subscribe to Roto Riot? Leave a comment down in this video right here. Uh, hit the bell, it's somewhere around here. I don't know where it is. That's gonna do it for today on Roto Riot. I am Pete Evax. We got Cubby. I was gonna call you Cubby. <laughs> Caleb. It's Bubby on the camera today. Show him. Show him, Bubby. It's kind of weird, isn't it? It's a Bubmeister. Vortex is here. I don't even know what's going on. This is wild. This is, are we past Roto Riot? Future Roto Riot? Baby. We are back. This is what you guys asked for. This is what you asked for. We got the OG crew here. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna do it. Roto Riot.